everybody today I'm gonna to be doing a makeup tutorial on so really quickly I just want to say I guess the most important things um, for highlighting and contouring at least for me most important things is obviously concealer come on now and um, and also a foundation stick or concealer that's a dark like four shades darker than your skin tone so I'm I'm going to use um, a foundation stick that's obviously darker than my skin tone. This is for contouring and the concealer is for highlighting. A little bit, it's supposed to be a little bit lighter than your skin tone. And you need a setting powder, um, either translucent or a specialized you know, powder for highlighting and contouring. And a beauty blender. Oh my goodness, a beauty blender is so important for, for this. So these tips are just like what I believe is important for me you know what I mean there's obviously a lot of different ways on highlighting and contouring there's just not one way you know what I mean um, you could pretty much highlight and contour any way you want obviously don't you know don't do like a reverse thing you know like put dark under here and you know the highlighting part over here where the contour is supposed to go like yeah just don't do that and anything else, trust me, like, it'll be fine. It's not that big of a deal. But today, I'm going to show you guys, like, the typical, traditional, I guess, way of hiding and contouring. Um, the most famous and popular way. I'm going to be using this Maybelline Concealer. So I'm almost out, as you can see. And I'm also going to use the NARS Concealer. The NARS one, I'm going to put it under... Um, my eye area just to intensify the highlight under there and for contouring with creams i'm going to be using the maybelline foundation stick oh one thing that i forgot to mention is that um your concealer does not have to be expensive just good quality not expensive but good quality like the maybelline one you know they sell it at any drugstore and you could highlight and contour with those products for example like this one I've been doing it forever and I think my makeup comes out just fine or you could obviously use high-end makeup like the NARS one you know that's gonna cost you a little bit more so first thing that I'm doing is just doing kind of like a backwards triangle I guess but it don't even look like a triangle just a big blob under here and then just bring it up like this and then do it the same on the other side and then I'm gonna just draw like a circle on my chin my nose just draw a line and on my forehead just do like a little square what I found um, easier I guess especially if you're starting off is blend out the concealer first before it dries up because you know when you first start you tend to be like a little bit slower which is okay so I recommend just blending this out before you start contouring so that's what I'm gonna do but before of course I'm gonna add some more concealer underneath my eyes so this is a dramatic look well, I'm, I want to make it a dramatic look because my eyes are very dramatic. So I'm just, I am just dabbed a little bit more concealer under there. And this is a NARS one. And now I'm going to grab the Beauty Blender. And then this is probably um, the trickiest part. You have to make sure that your Beauty Blender is wet or damp. I should say it. So wet it. Um, make sure that it, you know, it's clean and stuff like that. Once you wet it, just go like that squeeze it squeeze out all the water and then grab a towel and also you know squeeze it some more and then now it's time to use it so what i'm doing is pushing it into my skin like this a product i am not going like this because if you go like that it's going to leave you marks i remember i had that problem and yeah i hated it because that was when i first got it and i did not know how to use it but now that i have the hang of it I notice that you're supposed to dab it into your skin like this. Dab it until it all blends out. Okay, now that I went ahead and did that, I am now going to grab the foundation stick and then just start drawing lines. This is why I like using the foundation stick because it's so easy to use. Like you literally just draw lines. And then, so basically just draw lines you know around your cheek I mean your chin your forehead if you have a big forehead if you have a small forehead don't do it because then it's just gonna make your forehead look smaller but if you have a big forehead like mine yeah you might want to consider doing it and also a nose 
go down your nose, especially if you have a big nose like me. And then um, for your cheekbones, you basically just want to kind of follow like the top of your ear, like right here, and go down that line. And stop right here. Do not bring it all the way over here. Stop like about midway right here. Okay, so to blend out this, I am going to use a Dew Fiber blending brush. This is from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to go in circular motions to blend um, out all those areas. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this for, yeah, all those areas that I put, cons I mean, the contour on. Okay, now going back with the Beauty Blender, it's like the fat part. Um, I'm just going to go back to those areas and just dab it. And then, obviously, since I didn't do that to my nose, blend out the nose, I'm going to blend it out with the Beauty Blender, and that's just dabbing. And I'm obviously going to blend out my forehead as well. Okay, now going back with that Maybelline concealer, I'm going to clean it up underneath the, the contour line that I created. So it's just making a line under here like this. I'm just covering that piece up. Okay, now with the Beauty Blender, I'm just going to go back and, you know, blend it out again, pushing it into the skin. So I'm going to set it with the L'Oreal, I mean L'Oreal, I'm sorry, the um, Laura Mercier translucent powder. But I heard that L'Oreal has a really good translucent powder as well, which is obviously going to be cheaper. Because from the drugstore, I just personally have not tried it out yet. I stick to this tra translucent powder because for me personally, I love it. I think it does an amazing job to set your makeup. And a lot of it comes in it and you don't need a lot of um, setting, you know, setting powder to set your makeup. You just need very little. So I like to grab a little bit with my brush. This is also do fiber brush. It's from e.l.f. So the brush is obviously drugstore. And then... um. I just dab it into the cap like this so that air, like everything comes out. And I'm only going to use what's on the brush once, you know, stops. And then I'm just going to, with this, I'm also going to dab it. I am not going to drag it back and forth. I'm going to dab it into my skin like this. I'm just going to go over my whole face with this translucent powder. It's making sure that everything is set. So I'm going to start with um, contouring my nose. Or setting the contour with my nose, I should say, with um, powder. And I'm going to use the Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil. This is a medium to brown, and this is an e.l.f. angle brush. And I'm just going to draw, like, a line a little bit above my actual um, side of my nose. Because I want my nose to appear slimmer. And I'm going to stop right here, and I'm just going to drag a line down. Then I'm going to go in again with that Do Fiber brush. This is a brush that I use to uh, blend out the areas that had contour with cream. And I'm going to pick up the same color, go over those same areas that I originally did. So for example, my, my cheeks. And I'm going to start back here and work forward because I want the darkest um, spot to be in the back and blend it nicely forward. And then just kind of bring it up on the side of your face and then just go back and forth, you know, like this. I kind of like what I'm doing with the brush. I'm not adding more product because I obviously don't want my forehead to be super dark. I want the more, um, I guess, darkness or intensifiness on the cheeks. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up some more and do the same on the other side. And then I'm going to bring it down into the neck area. Then I'm grabbing a blush brush. This is from MAC um, 109. It's a small little um, blush brush. Um, I don't really like, well, I guess right now my mood is I don't really like using um, a big blush brush. Um, just because I want to make like a more um, intense highlight, you know what I mean? So I like to keep the blush part very minimal. And I'm going to go in with this blush also from MAC. It's called Breezy. And I am just going to dab my brush very, very little. Because this is very pigmented. So I'm just going to grab a little bit. And then again, I'm going to start back here. And I'm just going to follow that contour line. And I'm just going to go back and forth in circular motions. So it could all blend nicely. 
I'm gonna go in with a Sigma Taper highlighting brush. This is an F35 brush, and this is uh, Mac Soft and Gentle highlighter. Um, for highlighting, are you? I've seen a lot of girls use um, even like eyeshadow. So just make sure that your eyeshadow is kind of like frosty, but not too frosty. If that makes sense, kind of like shimmery, but not glittery. Um, kind of like this one. You know what I mean? Kind of like that creamy white color. Anyways, and when I apply it, I'm just going to dab it on top of the area where I had the blush. I'm just going back and forth. And I'm going to do the same to the other side. And to blend everything together, I'm just going to grab a normal um, blending brush or face blending brush. And I'm just going to go back and forth and just grab all of that product and blend it all out. Now I'm just going to blend out my nose where the contour was. And this is just an e.l.f. brush. It's a concealer brush, I believe. And I'm just going to go back and forth, going downwards, blending that area out. I'm just going to put a little bit of highlight on the bridge of my nose. So that is it. This is my, or this is the way I do, like I said, like the traditional, um, most popular highlight and contour, the easiest way. Um, so yeah, so I hope that you liked this video and I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you want to watch more of my videos, just subscribe. And if you want to watch more of my makeup, like clips and pictures, just check out my Facebook, Only Jasmine. And if you want to watch just more of me, just check out my Instagram, Only underscore Jasmine. Bye.